Starting with the last question, uh, I think this is going to be a subjective answer, of course, but I think that um, the less Turkish foreign policy is involved, um, that's an um, advantage for the Turkish Cypriots and Greek Cypriots to uh, put their stamp on, 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 on the issue. Um, I think that um, it is due to the election time that, uh, especially AKP, they know that if they raise the, uh, the nationalistic um, voice, they'll uh, cash in, they'll make more votes. That's why Cyprus issue became a public debate nowadays. But, uh, you know, we know that uh, compared to 2000, early 2000, Cyprus is not really a public opinion issue anymore. Not a very important one, I think. Um, I, I, my, my hunch tells me that uh, after the Turkish uh, general elections, uh, there will be less discussion on the Cyprus issue in, um, in Turkey. So if that's the case, I think that that's to the advantage of uh, the uh, Turkish Cypriots as well as uh, the Greek Cypriots. Um, CBMs, I, I think that's, that has been the, uh, the, the, the idea since the very beginning, and um, the time that it was taken seriously was after the failure of the uh, set of ideas, Gali's uh, set of ideas. I remember that because I was involved in those committees, I was quite young at that time, and I saw how uh, in 93, 94, these CBMs were used and abused and flushed down the drain by the politicians, by, by the two sides at that time. And, and I cannot help but uh, to, to, to think that if we manage to open the Nicosia airport to the uh, cargo and um, civilian passenger traffic and the closed area of Warosha 21 years ago, today we would have been talking about a different Cyprus. Um, so, but then again, you know, each time I hear the same story, and it's deja vu. Let's focus on the comprehensive solution. Let's push for the negotiations. I don't think that that's the way to go. OK, you're saying that it can create a more comfortable situation. Why not? Don't we all need more comfortable situation? Isn't it better? I'm not saying it's negative. No, no. no what I'm saying is, well, yeah, I'm just, um, but I think that more comfortableness is good, but at the same time, my hunch tells me, and you know, I'm not saying that my hunches are always good, but um, my hunch tells me that the more cooperation we do, similar to the uh, functionalism model in EU, the more spillover it will have to the other areas. I think that the more cooperation we do on confidence building measures, the more there will be a need for a comprehensive <laughs> legal framework which only comes after a comprehensive solution. And, then, and that's uh, my personal um, uh, belief, that more CBM cooperation will actually take us to a, um, the, the final legal framework, which is a comprehensive solution. When it comes to uh, Ian Arman's uh, uh, question, I think that there are others <laughs> who can take the pulse of the uh, Greek Cypriots here better, but the polls that we have conducted all these years, and especially our last score index uh, poll results, are not very optimistic. The cultural gap between the two sides are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, when it comes to the Greek Cypriot side, compared to the Turkish Cypriot side, their support for a bisonal bicommunal federation is much lower. So I think that it's a risk just to believe and think that Akel and Dissi, who are these two strange bedfellows, by the way, I, you know, I don't know whether they'll uh, they'll get over their uh, blood feud of uh, ancient times and, and become a um, real grand coalition on, on something. Um, at least the elites, the political elites of the Dissi and Akel, need something tangible before they go out to the public and, and, and advocate that this is good. I don't think that just a, when I said just a comprehensive solution, <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not <laughs> into it, but 
it is at the end of the day a text and we have a very valuable experience back in 2004 how a text can be distorted and and and, and marketed in a you know problematic way by the political elite so what i'm saying is it is better that these political elites who are ready to support the comprehensive solution will have some examples of experiences, cooperation between the two sides, to, to take them as examples and, 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 and advocate in the uh, referendum campaign that, hey, look, this works. See, there are examples of Turkey Cypriots and Greek Cypriots cooperating, and it is good, which will be much easier for people to take the risk to jump from there to the what I call the grant cooperation, which is a comprehensive solution. So going there, jumping there without any meaningful experiences of cooperation, I think is problematic. Maybe I'm too stubborn, but I've been support. I've been uh, saying this for more than 15 years. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, coming from part of the end of the.